how's it going guys? Back again. Um, again, a big thank you to everybody that sent me a question for the last video, my last Q&A. Um, I will be doing them more often and if you're not already following me on Snapchat or Instagram, please head over there and follow and keep up to date with those as well. The links will be all in the description box. So just click them, go over, quick follow, any questions you have, just shoot me either a private message or a snap. This video is my training session that I do every Friday. It's a full upper body session, um, high volume, all supersets. So I pick two exercises per body part and I superset them together for 15 to 20 reps per exercise. Um, after this footage here in my, it was, should you train when sick video, um, I had a guy Alex comment on it, and uh, shout out Alex, thanks for commenting and subscribing, but uh, he asked for any tips for building your abs, having a six pack, so at the end of this training footage, I will talk you through how to get a six pack and how to build up them abs, so sit back and enjoy this footage. Right, 
Right, hope you've enjoyed the footage from the training session. Um, trying my best at this, I'm editing stuff and trying to match it up the beat and stuff like that. It's pretty good. Um, abs, how do you get six pack abs? Diet. Now, whenever it comes to training abs, abs are just another muscle. So all the sit ups, all the planks, all the side crunches and stuff like that is all well and good, but you have to add weight. To build up those nice blocky abs, you have to, it's just like any other muscle, you have to add resistance and progression, pardon me. You have to add resistance and progression. I'm guilty for it in bulk mode and whenever I'm not dieting I don't train abs enough or as often as I should but you have to understand abs get hit with every compound movement you do whether it's squat, whether it's deadlift, whether it's overhead press, whether it's bent over row it gets hit, your core gets hit with every huge exercise. Your core's there, they balance and stable your body. So indirectly, all those movements also hit your core and your abs. In saying that, you still want to train them in isolation, um, just like any other muscle. Just because you do your bench press, doesn't mean you don't go and train back because your lats are involved in the bench press, but just because you do bench press, doesn't mean you're not going to go and train your lats. Um, so it's just like your abs, just because your abs are getting trained indirectly on other compound movements doesn't mean you don't want to train them by themselves. At the minute I'm training the abs three times a week, but that's just because I'm eight weeks out and I'm trying to get my abs up. But um, treat them just like any other muscle group, that's biggest tip. And add them in, whether it's once a week, twice a week, you don't have to train them every single day. Again, they're like any other muscle, they have to repair. If you're training them and smashing them to pieces every single day, they're not going to repair, they're not going to grow. The next couple of clips is going to be my ab routine. Now, I do basically the same thing three times a week. Um, it's cable crunches is the first one. Then it's the cable wood choppers, um, adding in the twist. And then it's just leg raises. Sometimes I do it just lying on the floor like this one, and sometimes I do it on the assisted pull-up machine. I put my elbows down on the the poles and use it as leg lifts. Um, but yeah, check out my ab routine and be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and again, ask any questions, follow me on all my social media, and thanks very much folks.